Oh. Ow. I bet I can do that to you. Nah, dude. I can just beat you up like that easy. No, 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 no. I, no, I nah. can beat you up. Nah. Well, what belt are you? I'm, I'm blue belt. Blue you belt? Blue. I'm a black belt, my boy. <laughs> oh. You see? Can I well, go? Yeah, I'm go. <laughs> you see? Get out of here. Get out of here. Too easy. Master, I need some help. It's great, Master. Oh my god. What do you need? You gotta go I need to learn how to fight. But first, you must know that fighting is not all the fists, but the physics as well. Here we have Newton's second law of motion, which states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Now, we substitute the acceleration with the change in velocity over change in time and find that force is equal to mass times the change in velocity over change in time. Multiplying that on both sides by change in time, we get the formula for impulse, which then we manipulate back to find this force is equal to mass times change in velocity or change in time. Now, this numerator is actually the momentum of the fist, and we're going to assume that in our case of Jason versus Sidhu, that they have the same momentum with a mass of about 0.5 kilograms and a velocity of 10 meters per second. Now, what Sidhu is going to do is he's going to change his time in contact with Jason's body to 0.1 seconds, while Jason is that a large one second. Now we find if we plug into this formula that Jason will have a force of 5 newtons for his punch while Sidhu will have a force of 50 newtons which is 10 times Jason's original punch. Hey, I want to challenge you to a fight again. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah! <laughs> oh, don't die! No, 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 no! Keep your mouth to mouth! Look at that! It's like five percent body fat, ninety-five percent body fat. <laughs> Slap it a little bit, make it look tense. Four percent body fat. <laughs>